Hello, my dear students. We have over here Dr. Shomuji Chom, who has cleared the MCI exam with a score of 158. Congratulations, Shomuji, so much, for sir. such a good score. Thank And you. I would like to share his academic details. He, he is a fresher from Southern Medical University, China. and is yet to do his internship and still he took the pain to come and prepare and study and pass the exam with such flying colors your story shomajit first of all good evening sir and good evening everyone uh it was a mammoth task i know but then uh, with dams and the faculties and the help they have provided with uh, uh, us uh, it was not that difficult only i felt that if we are in the correct track and uh, we prepare the things regularly we don't skip the any day in this 6 months then we can nail it at the end of 6 months but since the time is very short so if somebody loses a little bit of time also in this span then he'll get detract from it and then uh, rearranging him into the scenario becomes difficult okay now see this is a journey Yeah. now which probably has started the day you entered the university yes, so your parents your friends what role did they play to be honest sir my parents always uh, supported me and they always had this faith uh, that i can clear this exam although they heard the rumors and all that uh, clearing this exam in the first go uh, is literally tough but uh, they always had the faith and they kept uh, motivating me and uh, my friends in both in university and some friends in india my school friends they also uh, encouraged me that uh utilize your time give your best we are sure that you will clear it in the first time so now let's look into the friends sure. so were you a person who used to do a group study or were you a person who read alone uh sir we you uh, in university we used to at times spend uh, some time with friends and discuss over a topic but the majority of the study i used to do in library alone okay. i'm that sort of a person okay great so you can see everyone has got a different success mantra and Shom shomajit as he mentioned he was more of a person who used to sit in the library and read now yeah. read for how much time this is a very big question which generally students don't know uh after coming to delhi gautam nagar uh, actually i came in february also i had a semester break so at that time i came and uh, i did few subjects uh, in the vacation course at that time i did not devote that much time but uh, like something around 6 hours or 7 hours uh, but during the regular course uh, i tried to devote uh, after coming from class like 4 hours and then the next morning if i have a delayed class like in afternoon then the entire morning or if there is a 9 o'clock class then at least 2 hours before and the most important uh, thing is the uh, gaps in between two subjects like uh, if there is one day or two day gap then we need to utilize that uh, like those two days or one day uh, totally like 14 okay. hours a day at least otherwise okay. it's difficult so see he is very clear you need to pr probably put in a hard work of 13 to 14 hours a day and another important point which he mentioned was he was a vacation course student now many of you who are studying across the world generally turn up in your vacations for a month or two and since we are away from the house we spend more time with our family but he was one of those unique people who even in those vacations try to be in touch of the study now what do you think is is an important strategy because majority of the students tell us that in the vacation we should be more with parents and stay away from the books but you were a person who was contrary to it so do you think that was a very important factor for your success i understand sir uh, like uh, emotions and all even we used to say abroad so after like 5 months we used to feel that uh, let's go home and rejoice and enjoy but uh, i saw some seniors in my university they devoted their last two vacations like uh, their fifth year two vacations uh, they came to delhi and prepared like uh, from uh, i uh, learned from them that uh, if you start early the thing is you can end your first time uh, uh, 19 subjects study like quickly and then you can start the number of revisions you would like to go for and i would like to recommend all my friends and juniors that earlier you start better it is for you because see this exam uh, within a span of 6 months is all about how much you can revise how many times you can revise the more success the chances of success you, is uh, there so it's not like you have to finish 19 subjects like everyone in gautam nagar they will study 19 subjects at least once but if you can revise every subject like 3 times or 4 times it will help you in the examination hall 
So, as he mentioned, a quick start is important and mm. second, the revision is important. Now, let's look into the revision. How many times did you actually revise? Sir, uh, first of all, uh, I had a different sort of pattern. Like, uh, during the classes, I used to study like two new subjects. Uh, and when I used to go into the third new subject, then uh, at times they were like I used to feel bored and uh, like off time. Uh, at that time, I used to go in num subject number one okay. and like revise at least a bit of it, not the entire, but at okay. least a bit of it. Then the tough parts probably. Tough parts. Okay. By the time I was over with subject number three, my subject number one revision first time was over. Okay. So since we did vacation course, so I would like to tell that it was helpful because uh, we completed six subjects. At, uh, completely and then uh, I went back to China uh, there like uh, I used to study for the university exams but yet I used to get like four hours a day to prepare the notes that I've gathered here in Delhi so before coming to Gautam Nagar I finished six subjects and then the 13 subjects I did after June and uh, see uh, one thing about revision I would like to say that if somebody thinks that at least uh, till April end I will complete the entire syllabus and then all of a sudden I will start with 19 subjects revision. The problem is for uh, myself I would, uh, I felt that uh, if I go like that then the subjects that I have studied in January beginning probably or uh, January end, I will end up forgetting everything in those subjects. So at least if 7 to 8 subjects have been revised with the course then the revision becomes easier because the first time revision is difficult. Once the first time revision is done, the second time revision you will feel that uh, you are just scrolling through the pages and you are just turning the pages, you can recall some things, some things maybe you need to put effort into. Okay. Now, let's talk about Dam Snow. Sure. So, subject wise teachers, we used to have classes of, okay. Now, any specific teachers who actually were very monumental in giving you that push? Sir, uh, starting from anatomy till radiology, Sumit sir, you, Rajiv sir, ENT, Mamta ma'am, Reena ma'am, everyone uh, really gave their best. The plus point I found in DAMS is that like every, like 19 subjects, the faculties are subject specialists themselves. Like uh, majority places, uh, you'll find that uh, not the subject specialists are teaching every subject. So. Uh, DAMS will provide you with 19 subject specialists and uh, the main thing I found is even in classes they will say that used to say that we are not teaching you the entire NEET pattern we will give you the 75 percent knowledge that you need to clear this exam because uh, suppose if a teacher uh, teaches like the entire subject even the 30 percent that in FMG we don't need and the student gets confused which part to leave yeah so that part I really felt DAMS faculties are very much trained and they are really experienced even they used to tell us that uh, just go through this much note and it will be enough and really it was enough for clearing this exam. Great, great. Now the exam, yeah. the exam of, th how did you manage the exam? Because there are many good students who say we read a lot but during the exam we could not control our nerves and we got anxious and we lost the questions. So what was your take in the exams? See uh, last four to five days uh, will be just will just vanish like uh, you will think that like back in university or back in school we used to like I was that sort of, sort of a student that uh, I will uh, mug up some things in the, in the last night but during this exam it will not happen trust me the last four to five days for everyone it will be really difficult you will be uh, really tensed and nervous you will feel like you are forgetting everything like at that moment what happens is I felt I was forgetting everything and I need to uh, uh, bring all the 19 subjects notes and <laughs> go through the pages but don't do that uh, you'll uh, delve into further uh, distress so just keep your calm and maybe one like uh, I found forensic IPCs and uh, some uh, like uh, radiology some and they were cobalt and all this half-life and like some simple simple things some biochemistry rate limiting enzymes simple things you can go through but don't take up notes and study last two days so basically a quick revision has quick to be done for volatile, volatile topics things, like yeah. if i want to list i'll say okay fine classifications of pharma yeah the tumor markers of patho sure uh, these are probably those topics which volatile. even if you read 100 times you can't recall it in this okay. now cbt's uh, we have mci cbt's a computer-based test which we have so did you give them 
yeah okay and it was really helpful okay uh, not because only the uh, i got to understand the pattern because it's my first time in fmg or any this sort of indian exam but uh, i remember in first the first cbt i went uh, it was from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock after like uh the second half began and like one hour uh, uh traversed i was feeling fatigued and this really helped me to understand that this exam is not like a 3 hour exam where you can just even skip your night sleep and go so you need proper sleep and then you can go and attend this exam and till 5 o'clock you can be alert so this thing i was feeling like every question i was trying to do i was trying to think but since i did not sleep the last night i was feeling fatigued so that helped me and the for every fresher he can sit in the computer it's absolutely the same i'll tell you the cbt center they'll give you admit card the invigilation the sort of questions everything is absolutely same you need to uh, uh, log in with your roll number and everything so you get acquainted with the system how you will do it uh, during your main exam very so important basically it's like a simulation of the main simulation. exam perfect great great, great great now how was the support team at dams when they were fine with you you were comfortable with your problems getting sorted out absolutely absolutely even they will reply to our messages and uh, we can communicate with them at ease like now specific subjects which will you say are the subjects which if you hit you're sure to pass um first of all i felt paper one is your main like for paper for day yeah, yeah. like uh psm is one big area of paper 1 and then comes pharma uh patho and all the basic subjects so if you are strong in paper 1 i feel paper 2 uh even if you are not that much strong you can gamble a little bit like okay i am strong more strong in surgery but not that much in medicine Medicines. you can still gamble but if you are not strong in paper 1 the first like 100 marks becomes difficult to score from the second paper little bit i felt like i don't know it can vary from person to person no actually it is it is true because see when you give an exam if in yeah. the first paper itself you are not confident yeah. by the time second paper comes your morale will be low true even if you might be very good in medicine surgery but if your first paper is not going good that psychic works and it drags us back in the second paper also yeah like in the break uh, i'll end up thinking that oh my first paper has yeah. gone bad so maybe my second will go so, uh, that's what that's that what happens that's what. so shumesh it next plans for you uh i haven't done my internship in china so i'll go back to kolkata and pursue my internship one year and uh, alongside i would like to continue my academics because like uh, i've talked to many faculties in dams and you sir also and you all have uh, told us that if the 75% that we have done in uh, mci level if we nurture this thing and continue our studies for the entire year then we can uh, get to that mark easily but if we skip one year just for internship and maybe another year then we start all of a sudden for neat then it becomes like we are starting again for zero so i would not recommend anybody to start again from zero so that again it's a new journey actually technically speaking it is not actually zero it becomes negative because you lose that touch uh-huh. because now like as you mentioned you were having a habit of reading 14 hours if you leave that test for even 14 months yeah. then it will be very that difficult for even to sit for one or two hours that's what that's true that's what okay now so when a very important thing what happens with you people is like you always have a thinking that okay we are studying outside when we come back to india we will stay here for a year or two prepare the exam and then give the exam hmm. but you were a person who picked it up in the vacation hmm. now due to that actually you have saved a couple of years to be very true now if there is a junior to you who is now staying at probably russia or china or kyrgyzstan or kazakhstan what will be your take home message to that junior i have already told my few of my juniors uh, about uh, how i studied and uh, i have recommended them that please do join the vacation courses because i understand that 19 subjects in 6 months for some people becomes really difficult for some it is okay so if they are pursuing this vacation coaching they can complete at least 30% of it and then start so it will be really helpful earlier this vacation courses these things were not there yeah. so people had to start from june only but now the coaching centers are coming up with this sort of things so this will really help and 
I personally did some mistakes like uh, one or two classes maybe in between I used to feel like okay I can study it from my, by myself from notes uh, I'll take Xerox so I skipped few classes I'll be honest uh, but I will not recommend anybody to do that because I really suffered like not going to class even for one day and thinking that I can decipher it from notes uh, I thought but then I suffered so I will not recommend anybody to do that go and to class every day to be very true you can't rectify it actually yeah so probably we should learn from the mistakes of our seniors true. and people like you have actually gone ahead and cracked the exam because you can't retrogradely create it that's okay. why I mentioned this that this is, was one of my biggest mistake I did few classes in between I used to feel like okay fine I can cope up but it was literally tough so thank you Shomajit, it was nice talking to you thank because you, you gave many many hard hitting points to the students, vacation course is important, a revision is important, yeah. they need to be very good in the basics yeah. which generally we are running away. Okay. So any last message what you would like to summarize the entire show for or a line which rocks the juniors or those who listen to this? See uh, like I said on my beginning note that uh, First, it will seem like it's a mammoth task, but uh, trust me, with a zeal you will start. You just need to continue it because with majority students in library also, I used to see what happens is they will start with a zeal, but then by the time they are midway, they used to feel that, uh, no, I cannot do this. No, I cannot. Don't think that and don't talk to your peers like who are uh, into negativity. This is very important. You stay in Gautam Nagar or anywhere. If you are uh, paying heed to negativity, uh, you will delve into negativity. Be positive. Talk to people who are, you know, sh giving you some positive vibe. So this is very important. And about how to study, trust me, DAMS faculties and the management will guide you immensely. They can, uh, you know, almost nurture you from zero and make you 100 like about me and my friends. They really helped us a lot. DAMS and DAMS faculties, on the last note I will say, are immensely helpful and most importantly not only teaching the subject, we used to have a WhatsApp group, like it is, uh, it happened that, uh, used to happen that every night I used to get frustrated, every morning some of the other teacher is coming up with a like motivational quote and that motivational quote, trust me, in the morning you will read that and uh, it will be really helpful, trust me. Every alternate day, some of the other teacher used to do that. Sir, it was really helpful, really. Thank you. Thank you, Swamijit. Probably these words have been a motivation for us also and also for those who have actually listening to this particular interview. So my dear students, you heard it from the mouth of Dr. Shomajit, a very successful candidate in his very first attempt, scoring 158, passing the exam and now he is ready for his internship and the next step. Yes, so take home messages from his talk was vacation courses, very, very important. So those coming back to India in the coming vacations, please feel free to drop in. We would love to have a very good audience like you people. Congrats, Samajit, and Thank all the best. So much, Thank, sir. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.